Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of area of a rectangle. This is standard 3.6c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 11 of the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause this video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it and we will look at our answers together. So we have a rectangle here, and you notice that we've got some square tiles in here. It shows that these square tiles each have a side length of one centimeter, so we have a little bit of a, of a reference right there, so that's one centimeter. And we know since it's a square, all sides are the same. So each of these uh, squares here have the same measurements, one centimeter uh, for each side. So this is going to be important. She continued placing squares without any overlap. So we're putting all this together like it's a puzzle. And we're going to cover the entire inside of the rectangle. Now, this is a big word here. Area is something we are just learning in third grade. You can find the area of any shape, whether it be a circle, whether it be a triangle, trapezoid, parallelogram, a lot of those come up in later grades, but where we always start with area is with rectangles, rectangles and squares. And the area, let's just make sure we understand, is the inside. So the area is how we measure how much space there is inside something. You are already familiar with perimeter. So the perimeter is all the way around any shape. The area is on the inside. And how do we measure blank space inside? Well, what we do is we put imaginary squares inside. Now, in this case, we're actually putting squares. When you get older, in upper grades, the squares won't be there. But I'll show you a way that you can calculate it without actually drawing the squares. But let's see what we have so far. So we've got one, two, three. So we've got four squares down. And then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got seven squares across. And even though this square in the corner it was counted uh, for up and down, that's just going to give us, uh, we need to include it for both the rows and the columns. So what we need to do here is let's just take what they've started and let's just see if we can extend it out. We're going to try to make it as neat as possible. So if we want to extend out our squares. We can draw individual squ squares, but I'd be afraid that we might make them overlap. So we're just going to take these lines and we're going to extend this out. And if you ever see a problem like this on your star test, this is exactly what you should do. Just take their squares. That last line was a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Now what we're doing is we are simply going to count. So we're going to count. And as you notice that we have rows of seven. So we've got seven, and then we're just going to keep on going to the next row. And when we have all of our numbers, well, then we are going to have our area. So this is the easiest. Uh, it might be a little bit time consuming, but if you want to triple check, quadruple check to make sure that you're doing everything correctly, this is one way to always find area. Get these squares in here and just write every single number. Make sure you got it. So it looks like you've got 27, 20. Eight. So the area of this rectangle is going to be, it says right here in square centimeters. So there's two different ways that we can write this. So A is typically how we abbreviate area. So A equals 28. And I'm going to uh, write it. There's actually three different ways. The first two are very similar. Square CM. So not just centimeters square cm. And the reason why we talk about square cm is because we literally put squares in here. So we're counting how many squares are inside. You can also write 28 sqcm. So you can just abbreviate the uh, square for sq. And then the third way to do it, notice your 28 stays the same. That's the area. This is something that you'll see up in upper grades. They have cm, and then they have a little 2. That's called an exponent. And that little two that kind of floats above, that actually means squared. So all three of these read 28 square centimeters because that is the area. 